I'm winging this whole video. Uh, so when I'm talking to you, I want you to know that this is genuinely from my heart. XXX Tentacion was an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. On June 18th, 2018, he was murdered at the age of 20. The only way I'm performing is if you turn up for me and ski today, right now! You hear me? So you know what I mean? From this side, to that side, I need you to turn up, alright? Run it. And you guys are the only thing that gives me hope. You guys are the only things that, that thing that motivates me to ideally, like, yo, be strong, you have over 8 million kids or, or adults and, and teenagers watching you, relying on you for this hope. Hope. This is something that his cult following looked up to him for. Hope. This is something that his music emitted. XXX Tentacion was an amazing artist that captivated the energy of millions, unlike any other. The whole goal is you live and then you die. You can die plenty times while you're alive. A life cut short. Eyes, uh, Stitch. This is my favorite Disney character ever. He's very relatable. Dreams were broken. In this documentary, we go over the last 24 hours of his life. A soon-to-be father and successful artist, there was evil lurking around the corner. And just like that, a stolen life. I can't actually project. So I'm gonna teach everybody else to do it, to free their minds and their souls. Or I'm gonna at least, if this is what you wanna dwell in, which I don't wanna dwell in, I'm gonna teach you how to at least be happy or create while you're here. At the gardens of Boca Raton, a large coliseum was built in his honor. His full name is Jose Duane Ricardo Onfroy. Friends, family, and fans leave him small gifts. The windows are stained with images of him. It's a solemn sight, haunting in fact, to think of the life he lived. Why did this happen? If I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I wanna make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy. Almost five years later, the trial started. Morning today in the murder trial of rapper XXX Tentacion, the witness called to the stand has already pleaded guilty and is now turning on his alleged accomplices. Robert Allen, Diedrich Williams, Trayvon Newsom, and Michael Boatwright were the four suspects. Robert Allen pleaded guilty to second degree murder in exchange for testimony against the other three defendants in their trial. As he grabbed the bag, shots are fired. Who shoots the shots that are fired? Michael Boatwright. And who does he shoot? The hundred dollar bills in U.S. currency that Mr. Newsom is flashing. Thousands of dollars in cash. This trial of three men for the murder of rapper XXX and Tashion is underway. The trial lasted a month and 13 days. All right, so XXX Tentacion means unknown temptation. X had a troubled childhood and used music as a positive outlet. In 2013, after leaving a juvenile detention center, he began a career in music on SoundCloud. Even critics credit him for his music versatility. In 2014, he formed an underground collective called Members Only, and he soon became a popular figure in SoundCloud rap. Let me back and play. Jesse Uncle, aka Jesse Uncle, aka Jesse Uncle. His father was Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy and his mother Cleopatra Bernard. X's father named him for the Bob Marley song, So Ja Se. X had faced a variety of legal issues throughout his lifetime, most notably the controversy that arose from the battery charges that were levied against him in 2016. Many have criticized the media's portrayal of X, arguing that his perceived improvements in character later in life have made his legacy into a tale of the power of second chances and redemption. The day before X was murdered at 8pm, 
June 17th. Tony Robinson uses the Turo app to rent a 2017 Dodge Journey from Miramar resident Tanisha Clark. Robinson is a close friend of Diedrich Williams. She pays $60 and is expected to return the SUV on June 18th. So I received a call from Chucky saying that Big Rob wanted to rent a car, but because Chucky Deidre Williams wasn't going to be present. I asked him to have Big Rob call me directly. Robinson told investigators that Boatwright and Big Rob were with her when she picked up the SUV and she left it with Alan. She said she never saw the Dodge again. At 1.18 p.m. June 18th, Boatwright's cell phone tracks to Williams' Pompano Beach home. It's there until 3.03 p.m. Williams tells police that a man from the neighborhood, Sherrod Clayton, was cutting his grass when friends arrived. Clayton recalls that the guys were Allen, Boatwright, and Newsom. Clayton and Williams say Williams asked Clayton to babysit Williams' kids as Williams left. Meanwhile, ex and friend Leonard Kerr went to a Bank of America branch where the rapper withdrew $50,000 in a transaction confirmed by the teller. He put the $500, $100 bills all wrapped in bank papers in a big bag before leaving the bank. At 3.30 p.m., Riva Motorsports Superstore surveillance cameras spotted the black BMW with X and Care pulling into the parking lot at 3619 Dixie Highway. The two went inside to look at motorcycles. At 3.32 p.m., the surveillance cameras saw the 2017 Dodge Journey pull into Riva's parking lot. William gets out of the driver's seat while Alan, wearing the dark t-shirt, gets out via the rear driver's side door. They go into Riva Motorsports. At 3.36 p.m., Alan and Williams walk in. They immediately notice X to their left and continue walking. At one point, X even looks at them. Williams buys a mask. He's known as a previous customer. Meanwhile, Alan is on the phone. They leave and continue to communicate on the phone. At 3.48 p.m., the Dodge Journey leaves Riva's parking lot by the north exit, then backs into the four space parking area in front of a house at 641 Northeast 37th Street. At 3.55 p.m., X's BMW starts to leave Riva's parking lot by the north exit. The Dodge Journey jumps out of the parking space, cuts it off, and Boatwright and Newsom jump out the passenger side doors. They reach into the car. One grabs the Louis Vuitton bag with the cash. X's brief fight for the bag ends with his shooting. How many times do you recall that Michael Boltwright shoots Triple X? What does Triple X do as a result of that? What does Michael Boltwright do next? What does Trayvon Newsom do? What does Dietrich Williams do? Now are all four back in the Dodge journey? Yes. What does Dietrich Williams do? Witnesses say the suspect stole a Louis Vuitton bag and fled in a dark SUV. I tell you, it's the black Dodge Journey, the black wheels with the black male with the purple hoodie, and the second subject had a red mask on. At some point before 4.23 p.m., the group takes Williams back home. Clayton said Williams paid him with a $100 bill. At 4.23 p.m., Allen is dropped off at his home in the Driftwood Terrace Apartments. Boatwright and Newsom return around 5.30. Just after 6.46 p.m., the 2017 Dodge Journey with Newsom and Allen leaves the Driftwood Terrace Apartments. At 6.55 p.m., the Dodge gets in a hit-and-run crash in Fort Lauderdale, with Newsom driving and Allen also in the car. At 9.28 p.m., someone uses Boatwright's phone to take a picture of Newsom holding many $100 bills. At 9.25 p.m. and 10.16 p.m., someone uses Boatwright's phone to take a picture of him holding a large amount of $100 bills fanned out in front of him. On June 19th, Williams bought $800 worth of clothes at a Fort Lauderdale Just for Sports store. Millions of people all over the world were devastated 
to hear the news of X's passing. Fans came from all over. Now they're here because of the amount of social media attention that this case has received online and they wanted to take precautionary measures to keep everyone safe. Fans marched and gathered. His memory will live through his music. Riva Motorsports has a memorial in memory of X near the entrance where he lost his life. We're listening to his music, dancing to his songs, you know, we're just trying to keep his memory alive. X had a troubled past that included arrests for home invasion and domestic violence against a pregnant girlfriend. He made some stupid mistakes and looked up with some people that he probably never should have. Well, for some reason, uh, suddenly he had an epiphany and decided that Somebody with the kind of talent that he had and with the kind of future that he had was simply wasting everything by not using his God-given talents in a way that he could make himself as well as everybody around him better people. I regret a lot of decisions I make. She, the way she loved me and the way she showed me love, I just, I literally loved her so much that I wanted her to leave me alone. I ruined it just because she loved me, you know? The suspect's attorneys and the prosecution say their arguments. Jose is there, unarmed, in the driver's seat, surprised by the two gunmen in this case. You'll hear how they start struggling with him. Both of the gunmen at one point are trying to get his property from him. They're able to wrestle away from him the satchel that had the $50,000 in cash. Michael Boltwright fires several times, killing the victim at close range. Robert Allen is the only person that you will hear from that puts Michael Boatwright at Riva Motorsports on June 18th. If Robert Allen testifies in this case, he will lie. Edric Williams' attorney Mauricio Padilla was up next, and he claims that law enforcement dropped the ball and did not investigate this case properly. Before X died, he said, if anybody kills me, it's Drake. You better believe so and so is going to get investigated. But in this case, they didn't do it. They didn't do it because it didn't it didn't comport with their version and their narrative. Finally, Trayvon Newsom's attorney gave his opening statement. He went last, and instead of pointing to evidence that will clear his client, he pointed to evidence and said what it will not show. The evidence will not show that any firearm was ever recovered that could be matched or linked to Trayvon Newsom. The evidence will show no DNA whatsoever found on the body of Mr. Onfroy or on that car. No cell phone evidence places Trayvon Newsom anywhere near that scene. So were the gunmen Newsom, Boatwright, and Williams, and will they be convicted for the murder of XX? A more than a week of deliberations in the murder of South Florida rapper XXX Tentacion. The verdict is about to be read in a Fort Lauderdale courtroom. Let's listen in live now. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant, Diedrich Williams, in this case, the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. Count one, we the jury find as follows as to the defendant Michael Boatwright in this case. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. During the course of the crime committed, did the defendant Michael Boatwright actually possess a firearm? Yes. Verdict, count one, we the jury find as follows as to the defendant Trayvon Newsom in this case. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. On March 20th, 2023, all three were found guilty on all accounts. On April 6th, they were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. X's last show. The energy that he had will never be forgotten. Worry on freeing your mind from this realm. When you can free your mind from this realm, everything is but a thought. And if you can't free your mind, then you're a slave to this realm. The whole goal is you live and then you die. You can die plenty of times while you're alive. The ideal physical death is completion. You served your purpose and then you won. There really is no rest for the wicked at all. A miracle 
was also left behind, his son, Gekyume. Hope for the future and a legacy that will continue. Long live Jaw.